All right, the falsehood of criticism. Okay, so have you ever met people who be like, and that thing you did, you didn't do it well, or that thing you made, or that song you sang, you didn't do it like this, in that place you did this, you made a mistake, that, that. you just say so many things. And after all, you're waiting for them to be like, okay, tell you what you should have done. And they just be like, well, it's all good, it's all good. You know why they didn't tell you? Because they too don't know what to do. They are just nasty and destructive critics. And yes, criticism may be useful. There's constructive criticism. Because first of all, what is criticism? Criticism is like taking detailed observation about a thing to observe areas that you need to make changes or improvement for good. So when it's not the other way around, where we just say it for defaming, it's not good. And yes, I know there are some people that will be like, I want, I need somebody that can shout for me, that can tell me what, you know, tell me the truth, tell me how it is. Don't worry, they are coming. By your words, they are coming. You have them in their numbers. But if we are going to follow the foundation of all truth, which is the Bible. Yes, I've come again, it's the Bible. It's the only place where you find the truth. And then we we'll look at Jesus, who is our role model. And yes, Jesus, I said Jesus, he's Lord. There's nothing you can do about it. I am not apologetic about it. Jesus is Lord. And everything about life, we have to look at it from his point of view, because he is the light of the world. So we have to look at his point of view. The question is, did Jesus Christ ever had a destructive criticism towards anyone? The only time we find Jesus Christ saying some things that some people call very harsh or strong is when he was passing judgment. But every now and then, he says something, he shows shows them a flaw and then gives us the answer. Never did he leave us in shadows that, was, that we needed to know about. So you can't say I'm a critic or I love critics. It's not useful. Except the criticism is for constructive purposes. If criticism is for uh, defaming purposes where you just embarrass somebody and then you leave the person like that, then it's not good. And also it's very, very important. So even if you must constructively criticize anybody, you must do it according to God's word because God's word is truth. And you don't want to be telling anybody something about them that is not truth. And I know I'm saying this mostly because of some musicians or some gospel music ministers who love criticism because they've been made to believe that the more you are criticized the better it gets is a lie if the criticism is not constructive you're not getting anywhere on no account will anybody call you what god did not call you all in the name of criticism the people who insult you and then you think that's criticism they're doing it for the best they even tell you you know i love you that's why i'm doing this but the bible says love is not proud and love is kind if your speech is hurtful then it's not kind love has a character you can't love people and then say these kind of things to them. You can't. So if you must criticize anybody, first of all, it must even be that you even know what you're doing. And then if you're not in that category where you know what you're doing, you know the answer, then you must do it with love. Look at Jesus' example. He gave us the example. And this is not just for music ministers, it's for everybody. Anybody who is in a situation whereby they are facing such things and they've been made to accept uh, or made to embrace um, this part of criticism that is very destructive. Because little by little, you have been told these things. And words are powerful. Somebody tell you you're singing rubbish, like singing rubbish seriously does anybody sing rubbish and sometimes when they tell you you're singing rubbish sometimes you're singing a good a good song maybe a worship song the words are beautiful but what they meant that you're singing rubbish is maybe you sang a key that was not right or your voice was not producing the sound that they wanted and then they just labeled you as a rubbish singer that's not right on no account should anybody call you what god does not call you if anybody's calling you a name that god will not call you then it's a lie you heard me say that the word of god is truth and what is truth truth is not just something that is correct truth is something that cannot be changed and when god said this about you it is who you are you may not be living up to what he has called you, but you are still what he has called you. And so, if anybody calls you less, that person is a liar. The Bible says, let God be true and let every man be a liar. So that person is just lying. He's saying things you're not. And so, no account to you in the name of being mentored or being tutored by some music um, teacher or guide or director or the many names they come by and they're insulting you in the process. No. So, don't be the kind of person that think you will get better if you are ill-spoken against all in the name of trying to push you to get there. No. It doesn't work. The words that have been spoken to you will be the result of your life and your singing in a short period of time if you do not cut that supply of such words to your spirit. I can't call you a rubbish singer or you say, oh, you are singing nonsense. No, no, no. How about, oh, you guys did not get it. Let's do it again. You know, no matter how you feel, there's nothing like singing nonsense. And this happens many times in choir rehearsal or somewhere. And everybody is just humbled because the person that said it is very musically inclined. So we all humbled, you know. Well, I've never been in that situation though, but I've seen people in that situation and I felt I should speak out. And if you are in that position, don't let anybody call you what God has not called you.